Hi, is this Debbie? Uh, this is Debbie. Uh, who's calling? I'm calling about the car on Craigslist. Uh, hold on a moment. Yeah. Hold on one minute. She'll be right with you. Yeah. Hello, this is Debbie. Hi, I'm calling about the 2005 Saturn Ion 2. Uh, yes. I'm I do have to let you know that the, the price was in there wrong. Well, what is the price? I just did update it. The price is thirteen fifty. Okay, well, I actually am going to report this to Craigslist under bait and switch because you're not allowed to do that. Plus, this thing was involved in an accident, so it's going to be it's not bait and switch. Your ad, your ad is getting flagged for removal now. Why? Because I'm reporting it. You had a misleading price. Why? This is, this is bait no, and switch. No, I just... It's, this is I bait didn't and switch. switch. I just Debbie? updated it. I Debbie? I typed it in wrong. It's bait I and switch. I typed it in wrong. Classic and bait and switch. And it was not involved in Flagged. a clean title. Flagged for removal. Title. Flagged for removal. Who are you? I was interested in buying the car, and now I don't want it. Okay. You told me it was 350 Their car's been involved in an accident. I see the accident right. pictures. And you did yes, a bait and it switch. Was. And I, Debbie, you know, I disclosed that it's a front end. You Debbie, flagged for removal. Like flagged, flagged for removal. <laughs> Debbie? Hello? Hey, I just got a call from this number like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, you're selling a gaming station? Yeah, so next one? Yeah. Uh huh. Um, I'm just letting you know that I actually flagged your post for removal. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I flagged your post for removal. I just didn't think it was actually what you had offered. And I think the pictures you took from Google. Why? I don't think it was what it was supposed to be. I didn't trust it, so I flagged it. <laughs> what does that mean? What are you talking about? I flagged your post for removal. Why? Because I didn't trust it. You have a Florida area okay. code, first strike. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Secondly, I did not trust it. Okay. Well, so you get some, uh, you get some like schizophrenic issues or something, man. Do you have schizophrenic issues? I could see you for that. No, nah, dude. You can see me for that. Yeah. It's not funny. You get some issues, then. Go back to Florida. Get a fucking egg. Go back to Florida. Uh, no, I don't think I want to. I wouldn't want to either, but you have to get out of here. <laughs> you got issues, man. Goodbye. Yep. Have Call fun. The cops. Okay, you do that. I'm sure they have a big file on you. You're gay. <laughs> that was a good one. What are you in second grade? Your Xbox is gay too. It sounded like Pee Wee Herman then. Did you ever play Tomb Raider with a rumble pack and put it on your wiener? <laughs> oh my god. You're flagged for removal right now. I just clicked the button. I don't really care, dude. <laughs> yeah, you do. Why would I care? Then I'm gonna remove it. What's with your laid back attitude? Now you guys all smoke meth. We all smoke meth. Are you a stoner? Uh, maybe I am. I'm calling the cops. Oh my god. The cops? Yo. No way. Look, They're kid. They're gonna come arrest me because I said I was a stoner. They'll arrest you because you were from fucking pocket. Florida. You probably have a crack pipe in your pocket. But yo, go the fuck home, <laughs> get out of this I area, go back to Florida, no, right? Hey. Yeah, you're a fucking no, crackhead. No, crack Who else sells a fucking no, Xbox on Craigslist? <laughs> Oh, so, yeah, get a fucking job. Stop selling yeah, stolen I Xboxes. I swear to God, I used to talk to people like you every day. I used to like, I used to talk to fucking crazy people, dude. You call uh, me crazy? You're the hospital. one selling fucking uh, Xbox on One. In about a month, man. Dude, that's You'll junk. Throw it in the trash. Man. That's junk. You're selling yeah, junk on the internet, and I'm crazy. Month, You're selling I'll junk. See you in a month. Huh? I'll see you in a month, man. You'll You're be selling junk, junk on hospital. the internet, dude. You guys are serious. Take off. Take off your tinfoil hat, throw that fucking <laughs> Xbox out, and go get a job, I right? I have a tinfoil hat. You're randomly reporting. I you won't know, You're randomly reporting. I'm like in Craigslist ads, dude. That's what you do all day? I have a serious question for you. What? Are you retarded? <laughs> oh. I'll take oh, that as a God. yes. I'm retarded. I'm so long retarded. Okay, good. I thought so. Yeah, was, well, at least that explains your behavior. Message? Huh? Hey, are you the one that... Huh? What'd you say, you stoner? Hey, hello. Hello? Hey. Is this the guy my, uh, my kid's been fucking with on the... On the... <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is the dad? This is supposed to be the dad? <laughs> yeah. You guys are a fucking joke, dude. What's going on here, huh? Oh, my God. 
Okay. Is my son says uh Hold on, my son said you're the uh, dipshit who doesn't have a job, so he's selling Xboxes on Craigslist. Is that true? Uh, try to make your fishing scams more believable. Is that true? Are you the dipshit that doesn't have a job, so he's selling Xbox Ones? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, come on, man. Man up and answer that question, you fucking pussy. I just said yes, I'm selling an Xbox 360, not an Xbox One. Oh. I'll give you a 10% discount because you guys are kind of like retarded. It's kind of like a charity case. <laughs> You're going to give a 10% 10, 10 discount because we're retarded? Mm -hmm. How much are you selling it for? I'll give you for 81. No, fuck. I'll call an 80 even. That's like 80 bucks? That's like an 11% discount, man. How fucking broke are you that you're trying to get rid of it? Oh, uh, no. I just want an Xbox One, so I don't need it anymore. Oh, so nice. Here, you know, I'll just throw it up there. What games are you playing? I'll play it. You want to fucking start playing together? You what games you got? I got, I got, um, the, the Halo remaster or whatever. You play, that's pretty much all I play. Oh, uh, uh, Halo's for fucking fun. dorks. Halo, Halo's for play? virgins. What do you play? I play fucking real shit. NHL, Madden, <laughs> dude. Sports <laughs> games. Oh my god, dude. I play like, sports you games, you fucking smashed, bitch. Madden? You wanna get smashed in Madden? I'll fucking smash you in Madden. Oh my god. Okay, what's the gamer tag? Uh, oh hold on. I don't have a gamer tag. I have a PlayStation <laughs> 4. <laughs> oh man, I think uh, I think we ended up making a friend here. We have a friend, dude. Yeah. What's your name, dude? My name is Marshall, man. What's your name? Marshall? Uh, I'm Matt. <laughs> what's wrong, man? Well. I'm gonna go, but uh. You're the man. You're the man. It was nice talking to you. Wait, 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 wait. Just, I wanna know, like, what, what's the, uh. What's the reason you guys, like, do this? Uh. Just fucking with people? You think I should tell them? Yeah, you man. might, if we tell you, are you gonna be fucking gay about it? I mean, is it a fishing scam? Because that's kind of what I thought it was. No, it's not a scam. We have a fucking comedy podcast, and we call people, and with the, every podcast we start by prank calling Craigslist people. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, because I got, like, a text message saying, like, three repeat people recorded this or something on a scam. Huh. Yo, what up, dude? What's going on, man? Chilling, dude. Episode fucking ten. Ten. God damn it, dude. Ten That's a episodes. Lot. That feels like a fucking lot. Ten weeks, man. Ten oh. straight weeks. We didn't take any off. No, we didn't. That's good. I thought we would. Single fucking week. This is all we have. Exactly. This is our life. Podcasting. And these dickhead listeners won't fucking give us good reviews. I know we what the like, fuck, man. We have One like nine, review. and two of them are you and me. Exactly. We got nine reviews. Yeah, we have nine reviews. I'm gonna act like I'm pissed, but I'm slightly pleasantly surprised. Nine, no, <laughs> nine's good. <laughs> nine's all right. But get some more fucking reviews, you motherfucker. Yeah, any of you, Dan O'Leary. Yeah. Why don't you have any fucking reviews on there? M. Bicey. I know you're not reviewing. Exactly, dude. Review it, you dickhead. <laughs> Takes two seconds. Thoros of beer. On the main board. That'd be a big one. Give us a fucking review, player. Yeah, what the fuck? Dick Gorgeous, holler at us, dude. <laughs> Dick Gorgeous is my boy from Twitter. <laughs> oh, my bae is calling me. Decline. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hit her with a quick decline No, there. dude. You just um, hit the red button on her, dude. Yeah, she's... She, she knows you're on air. She interrupt the cast. She can't do that. Nah, man. Fucking respect your... A lot of guys wouldn't do that. A lot of guys would be like... Mm, time out. Yeah. yeah. No, dude. That's how you keep your uh, your ladies in line. Exactly. You gotta dude. let them know. Yep. Oh, and a text. Quick text. <laughs> <laughs> let me read this text. Are you quick. dead? <laughs> no, I, I fuck. I didn't understand it. I didn't respond to her. Damn. Oh man. I'm Take your time. I'm gonna send her a nice emoji. It's better to send her a little fucking ah, heart. It. Here, talk to the people. All right. Shane's fucking texting his babe. Meanwhile, I'm still fucking pissed, dude, about all this bullshit I've been seeing on Facebook. With President Obama and Joe Biden being best friends and how you're all fucking sad to see him go. That is literally the dumbest, most childish shit yeah, I'm back. in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. It's like, they were such good friends. I'm going to me, me, me. Oh, my oh God. I'm like, what are you, fucking six? There's all these... Thir Dude, some people with master's degrees who yeah. don't see that that's a political fucking campaign to get, uh -huh. like, good, good press. Yeah. 
He eats ice cream cones, and the other one makes playlists. It's so like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. You remember that uh, there's a Saturday Night Live sketch where uh, Trump made out or kissed, uh, I think he kissed. Putin? No, fucking uh, Giuliani. Giuliani was dressed like a chick. Oh, I didn't see that. Or at least he felt him up or something like that. And everyone was like, look at these freaks. If that was Obama and oh, Biden. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Holy shit. It'd be like, look at them crushing stereotypes. <laughs> look at these guys. <laughs> if they had Obama butt-fucking Biden, that would be actually hilarious. That would be cool. If they actually were such good friends, they started blowing each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it shows them like getting ice cream together, and it's like, oh, Joe... Oh, gotta have sprinkles. Okay. Oh, calm down, Joe. I know you're mad about Trump. Joe, yeah, Joe yeah, Biden yeah. does not give a fuck. Yeah, he could have been president. Yeah. If he gave a fuck, he would have been the president. Exactly. Also, this is my favorite thing to do. When everybody's like, oh, Obama yeah. and Biden. It's, it, listen to this. Uh, in President Obama's last year in office, the United States dropped 26,172 bombs in seven different countries. <laughs> He's such a 26, fun guy. 26,000... Good lord! I was probably he's probably making like a really cool playlist that day and decided to oh, drop a couple probably, of extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably Joe Biden ran out of ice cream and started bombing fucking villages. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely ran out of ice cream. I, I just love how people were like, "No, uh." It's like, dude, they definitely <laughs> fucking did. They don't care about you. Joe Biden and Obama care about you as much as Donald Trump cares yeah. about my they fucking dropped, mom and dad. Uh, they dropped seventy-two bombs a day. The last year, on Jesus, average, Jesus, man, seventy-two bombs a day. That's a constant reign of terror. Yeah, that's is. that's war criminalism. No, nah, they're they're hitting. They're war well, criminals, dude. I read about <laughs> it on warcriminal.org. Oh, really? Yeah, I glanced over it. Nice. Looked legit. Nice. <laughs> it looked good. I feel you on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're fun guys. They're no, they're good. Cute, fun. They, they wear aviator shades and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They gave each other some fucking stupid Boy Scout medal or some shit. Oh, Everyone's God. like, I, I was almost crying, watch. Grow the fuck up. Yeah, that was... If you put any real stock in a political figure, you you might as well believe in wrestling. Yeah. I, you, that's Stone Cold Steve Austin. I Bernie. I think Bernie was legit. I really do. I think they had him on a leash, though. Oh, he got fucking... Someone reindeer. talked to his fucking ass, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, uh, Hillary's the worst, and she'll run this country in the ground. He was like, he was just kicking a rock, like, no, yeah, I mean, she's all right, she's all right. you know, she's better than the other <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they fucking, him kissing the ring at the DNC. Dude, that, that was, was hard to watch. That man. was sad to watch. Watching What's-His-Face fucking kiss the ring, Christy. Fucking Christy, oh, when he hard. came on, had to stand on stage, and like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a defeated man. I'm still getting emails from Bernie. Are you really? Yeah, I, early on I was excited about Bernie. Send him back like you fucking pussy. Yeah, I'm he could have taken knows. a bullet and went down in history. Yeah, why, dude? He's, why wouldn't he have? Uh, they probably threatened his wife too. Uh, I don't know if it's that serious, but you don't think? What else? Why else would he back down? They're like, hey, knock it off. He'd be like, suck a dick. No, it's because he lost and he knew Trump was worse. That's that's what I think. I think they fucking. I mean, talked that's to I him. think what happened. I think they talked to him. It could have been. I really think they did. Could have talked to him. Dude. I think he saw... I think the writing was on the wall there that it was Trump versus Hillary. Because they fucked him. Yeah, that's true. Because the Russians tampered with it. <laughs> so wait, didn't the Russians... According to... Didn't they just release what the DNC did? Exactly. Like, didn't they just make it public knowledge what that, that the DNC yes. fucked Bernie? Totally. And was like, we gotta have Hillary? Yeah, they were like, these guys totally fucked Bernie Sanders, and everyone's like, eh, this is Russian interference. It's like, dude. <laughs> they fucking well, showed you. I don't know enough about it. But I'm, dude, I don't like that, and I don't like now. I've seen a recent surge in like people thinking being Canadian is cool. Yeah, of course. I, don't, I saw a thing today. It was like, how to be happy, healthy, and a little more Canadian this year. I was like, what the fuck? That shit fucking chat my ass, dude. I don't know why people are saying like Canadians are like the cool ones now. They're not. No, they're not. They suck. Dude, I went to. I've been to enough all-inclusive resorts in like Punakana. That's all they do. Canadians, they go to all-inclusive resorts and they're fucking. <laughs> no, that's just the only time you see them. <laughs> no, that's all they do. They all go there. Like every Canadian Cana goes dude, to Punakana. If you Punicana. ever go, watch out for them, dude. Well, they they get drunk and corner you and just spill their problems on you. Really? Every dude, it's happened to me four different times at four different places: Mexico, Punakana. All Canadians. 
all I swear it on the fucking Bible, and they hate Native Americans. You swear on the Bible, <laughs> and they hate Native Americans. Dude, oh yeah, that's a funny rumor. They or do a stereotype. Dude, Canadians they hate Eskimos. Hate Native, <laughs> they hate Eskimos, dude. Yeah. These guys would like corner me, and a they'd always be like, "Oh, my buddy is real. He's getting married to this girl, and she doesn't really care about him." And I'd be like hammered at a pool, like, "Dude, get the fuck away from me. Uh, I'm not your funny. friend." I know one. Canadian comic that was like that, dude. That's how they are. I told you. I got like I just met him. We started drinking beers. We were oh. in Atlanta, and he started talking to me. And then I started crying. <laughs> he was he was <laughs> funny, but he told me some real fucking crazy ass stories about his buddy yeah. who was married, got a divorce, and all this crazy shit. I'm telling you, man. Literally within ten minutes of me meeting him. That's what they do. They get drunk and fucking they corny Canadians, you. Canadians, dude. Watch Spill out their for guts. Them. Don't let fucking Obama and Biden try to turn us into Canadians, dude. That's what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm not fucking having it. Oh, she doesn't care about him. They did it's have a shame. They did have Mayor Rob Ford. Oh, Rob he's Ford the is the man. boy. Well, we should take him, dude. He's dead. Ah, oh, fuck, he's dead. Huh? <laughs> he's dead. He, was, he was a big. Any boy. chance American science can bring him back to life? Probably. <laughs> just a ton of crack cocaine. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one right. guy, the one Canadian's complaint was so funny because he, uh, his big thing, he was like. I should have played varsity football, but I was born with a bad foot, and I couldn't. <laughs> like, get the fuck away from me! Oh man, it's probably fucking foosball, <laughs> dude. That fucking Obama stat is still rattling around in my head. Twenty six so thousand bombs. Yep. Oh, dude, but it's like yeah, He's just but a fun guy. He loves. There was a lot of stuff that was bad there that he took over. It's like, well, yeah, you quadrupled the fucking bombing. So that fucking. Uh that playlist he came out with was so oh fucking lame. God. It was just like the Spotify Weekly. Someone yeah, just yeah, released yeah. their Spotify Weekly and like, man, he's so cool. Uh, I dude, celebrity slash politician worship, fucking just, just a video, the bane of my just existence. a compilation of Obama. That's like, why we love Obama. Jesus Christ! Like he don't have the fucking like mental capacity to be like, this is clearly set up for me to like pledge allegiance to a Democratic Party or whatever party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking obvious. Republicans do it too. It's like abortion. People are like fuck that. Yeah, I love yeah. abortion. You love abortion? no. I said I hate. Ab- I mean I hate abortion. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> take that back. <laughs> I hate. Oh, yeah. I, I was thinking I was Lena Dunham for a second. I fucking hate abortion. You dude. wish you had an abortion? Fuck no, dude. I'm way against abortion. I'm super pro life. That's sick. Except only in the case that if I have sex with a girl who's not that pretty, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> you can fucking erase that one. But otherwise, yeah. if you're a really pretty girl and you have my kid. I'm pro life. Yeah, if it's like a if you hook up with a pretty uh, a loose chick, you gotta. That's who it's for. You yeah, gotta terminate that baby. That's I mean that's what it's for in my eyes. But I am pro life. So abortions for having, just so you don't have kids with sluts. Yeah, or just like girls that have like Lena Dunham body, just like <laughs> servant body. Oh, God. <laughs> That, like, are made to just be, like, scrubbing. <laughs> yeah. Lena Dunham has one of those big, flat, wide butts that's just made for fucking getting down there. It is. It is. <laughs> She's fucking a, scrubbing, yeah. like, stone floors. <laughs> yeah. Just get one of those. Just She should be carrying two buckets, like a <laughs> like a fucking ox with <laughs> that wood across her back. <laughs> that big, wide butt, it's, it's for balancing the buckets. <laughs> that flat pancake butt. The buckets of milk. They get taken in the wind. <laughs> That's what abortion's for, dude. It's for if I ever had a kid with someone who's that liberal. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> it's funny because, like, naturally, if I was like in a like dark box, I am like a super liberal leaning person. But yeah, yeah, I of just course. hate fucking crybabies. Fuck. I used to. I liked Bernie Sanders. I Me fucking too. signed up for his emails. I was fucking trying to. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, this guy's onto something. Yep. And then, then you just see everyone ruin. Everyone it. got a hold. Everyone of it. gets so fucking annoying and ruins it. They really ruined it. One hundred percent. And then with, it's like. We liked Bernie, but it's time to grow up and face facts. So it's like, dude, stop it. You guys got bam fucking boozled, dude. Yeah, the, what did P.T. Barnum say? There's a sucker born every minute, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What else is going on in your world, dude? This thing's getting fucking serious. The cast is hot today. We're, oh we're going God. political. Yeah, we are. We usually try to stay away from politics. Dude, this is too hot. I had a fucking... That Obama-Biden thing has to be shut down. Yeah, that's annoying. Stop saying they're fucking best buddies and you miss them. It's like... Obama is bae. <laughs> this Obama video is everything. It's him, like, brushing dirt off his shoulder. Oh, yeah, being like... like doing sometimes you gotta, uh... Oh, it does that. Obama doing nuts. a cool handshake and it's like, oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, that's so fucking stupid. Obama's a fucking... He's a nerd. 
He's a fucking super nerd. So like him doing shit like that and everyone being like, he's cool. It's like, no, he's a fucking dork. He's a super fucking nerd. He totally is. When he like yeah. does like a cool, like you're saying, like dust the brush off, or brush the dirt off his shoulders or whatever. <laughs> dust the brush dust off. Dust the brush off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being possessed by like, some fucking dude from Louisiana right now. Like, yeah, dude, say it, dude. <laughs> oh, man. This is a hot cast. This is a super fucking hot cast. A lot cast. of people are going to, this is going to be too hot. Fuck them. No, this isn't too hot. He's saying it from day one. I don't know. A Lena Dunham butt might fucking hurt nah, people. No, nah, fuck that. We, there's nobody with a Lena Dunham butt to listen to our fucking podcast. That's true. That's very true. Only, only hot has, chicks and dudes only are chiseled. Dudes. Fine ass bitches and jack dudes. Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out Billy Princell. He's Ooh, a fucking G, dude. BP. Yeah, he's he's the man. Hell yeah, dude. And O'Connor. Chrissy O'Connor. Chrissy O'Connor. Oh, and, and his Shane O'Connor. Shane O'Connor. And Chris O'Connor, too. What's up, bull? He's a good bull. Love him. Yeah, dude. So uh, Benny uh, Feld coming up on Digital Graffiti. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow night. Shit. Wednesday night at Helium, we have Digital Graffiti, which is uh, where all the Lena Dunham butts get mad because we're <laughs> bullying people. <laughs> all the Lena Dunham butts in Philly are like, this is a mean show. <laughs> all the Lena Dunham butts are just quivering right now, dude. There's just a little bit of like sweat coming down the crack of those wide, flat butts right now. <laughs> There's butts are for sitting in a chair and just complaining on Facebook. <laughs> It's not fair. Blah, 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 blah. Oh man, sick of the Lena Dunham's, dude. Get him, get him to fucking Canada. You're damn right. I hate fucking Can- Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say Canadians, but that'd be mean. Can't stand motherfucking Canada. Lena Dunham butts. Fucking, you promised to leave. Beat it. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. This is a very uh, pro-Trump thing you're doing right now. I don't this like Trump good. either. Trump's a fucking idiot. Yeah, he is. But I know who my enemies are. Who's that? Lena Dunham butts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Is he your arch enemies? <laughs> True. I guess. I don't know. Nah, they're pretty shitty. I'm just hyped off this fucking Space Age water bottle I have. All oh, this hydration. Man. This is my brain at full capacity, dude. This is. Hi- my fucking frontal lobe is totally wet. <laughs> <laughs> you got a wet brain, dude. <laughs> yeah, they... Uh, I was thinking of this. This might be too hot for the cast. I'm going to come off like a racist, but I messaged you that, like... Even ESPN. Yeah, like yeah. Like, every single media outlet, like, even sports are like, here's a here's a story about black guys getting fucked over. Like, over and over again. Yeah. Like, every single fucking, it's crazy. Yeah, it's not the... Uh, and, and the thing that bothers me is not what they're saying, it's why they're saying it. Exactly. It's clearly for profit. Yeah, 100%. They're, they're like, oh, racism is something we can get clicks off of. Yeah. Here's an article about, you know... Yeah, 100%, dude. It's just them being like, well, we got to put it out there, and let's see. Well, some interns yeah. printing out some fucking bullshit. And Every one of those, like, first They're takes, cashing in, dude. It's those pure first takes in. or those shows where those dudes just talk back and forth, they're like, <laughs> does America hate so-and-so because he's black? And then, like, Stephen A. Smith's like, absolutely! <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, man. Like, all right. Who's his boy? I hate his fucking co-host. Max... Keller, I think. God, I fuck. They always play him when I'm in the gym, and I see his fucking he, he's, stupid. He he's, sucks. No, Stephen A. Smith's the worst. I never, I don't hear any of them. I just see their faces. So fucking Max Keller is my enemy. They right have now. commercials that like highlight how fucking brass they like all the fucking bullshit they say. Eastbound and Down, fucking crush. Yeah, them, dude. Dude. that's so last good. season. I can't take those shows seriously, dude. Those are the sesh. <laughs> so bad. The sesh. Yeah, I mean that's true. They're just everyone's cashing in. It's, it's like. It's profitable. Just, it's just weird to cash in on racism, the way so many things are. Well, it's a mental trend, you know what I mean? Just to be like, check out this racist piece of shit, and it's like, clearly the guy's a fucking jackass. A lot of those times, it's a fucking retarded person. I see a lot of those videos where, like, someone's, like, doing something fucked up, and, like, this guy said this, and it's like, oh, yeah, he's yeah, fucking yeah. schizophrenic. Yeah, he gets, yeah, like, the yeah. shit kicked out of him. Like, he's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, all... good. How about the lady with the fucking, uh... The Muslim lady punching the kid. It's like oh, that's great. No proof of what happened. So, so there's a viral video that's like a, a girl in a hijab. Is that how you say it? Oh, fuck, you're looking at me, I guess. It's like the turban. Yeah, hija- yeah hijab. The hijab. Or yeah. Uh, but the video is just this chick in a hijab just teeing off on some white kid. Yeah. And then the caption's like, he pulled on her hijab. And yeah. now he's, it's like Trump supporter pulls on hijab. Dude. They ne- they never show what happened. No. They just show 
a lady beating up a boy, and they're like, go. It's good for her. Hey, first of all, she never hits him. His head movement is yeah, fucking he, fantastic. He's big, oh, the, the funniest part of that is he stays in. Yeah. Like, he stays in punching range. He's in the fucking wheelhouse the whole time. He doesn't throw, but he, like, puts his hands he up. And he's, he's bobbing and weaving. He is, dude. He's fucking, like... She had good form, too. She did. That was a good fucking match. Which leads me to believe that that was two people fucking around, honestly. Yeah, could Filming be. it. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, again, fucking... People with graduates degree, like, this girl is a hero. It's like, you don't yeah. know the fucking story. Yeah, they don't show anything. Like, there's a video of this white kid getting knocked out on a basketball court by a Mexican <laughs> kid. And it's like, Trump supporter gets laid out. He never mentions Trump. <laughs> and who's making those viral videos is people who just want to get clicks on anything. Yeah, of course. It's fucking some, like, Egyptian freak in his office. Like, white kid hey, gets knocked out. my brother-in-law is Egyptian. Oh, my bad. I don't you know why. You watch what you say about them. <laughs> why Egyptian? You watch what you say about them. <laughs> You're right. I'm, I'm so sorry. fucking liberal. My bad, dude. God. You know what I'm saying. Yes. I'll I'll spend the rest of my life trying to make that up. To me? Yeah. Please. Man, uh, what a hot ass fucking cast. This cast is so hot. This is hot as fuck. Try quitting Facebook, dude. That didn't work. I'm back in the fold. What else you got? Chilling, Nothing. dude. Just That's digital it. graffiti. That's the whole point. We're just this is a big fucking rouse to plug DG. Yeah, yeah. Come to digital graffiti. Tomorrow at Helium yep. at 8 p.m. and watch people get made fun of via group text while they're on stage on a big it's old screen enjoyable. behind their heads. We can post gifs, yep, and pictures, yep, and funny things, and we can say horrible things because it's anonymous. Exactly, so that's pretty enjoyable. Hell yeah! Um, oh, man, I think our mission here is complete. How long is that? Is that a cast? Yeah, dude, we're at like 26 minutes with all the. We had a fucking like nine minute prank call. <laughs> a, oh shit! I forgot about that. Um, I mean, we can keep rolling. I don't care. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I feel like I had something funny to say, but... I actually... I, I, let's take a break. Yeah. Let's take a little fucking break. Oh, my God. Oh, we are back we're again, We're back from dude. the break, and we, Damn. We, we couldn't think of anything funny to say. We took about a 20-second break. And, yep. Uh, Here we are. Probably going to just let the clock run out on this thing. Yeah. Hell yeah. You like those football games this weekend? Mm. I saw him, dude. The uh, I was with Guy Tory all weekend. He had his cell phone set up, playing one football game and an iPad. Was he cheering for the Houston Texans versus the Patriots? Oh, he hated the Patriots. Black guys hate the Patriots. I know. I learned. So I learned. <laughs> I this. was with a black guy <laughs> who was screaming for the fucking Texans. I was back there the last Sunday show. The Patriots on Sunday. We're back there watching the Patriots game, and uh, no, they were Saturday night. Were they Saturday night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't oh, the Pittsburgh Steelers played yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. So we're watching. So his boys came Saturday. So it's me, Guy Tory, two of his boys. and Dude, Guy was a man. We're like hanging out the whole weekend. We're watching the game, and uh, they, the Patriots won. Yeah. And like he, one dude like threw his hat down. He's like, that Donald Trump-loving motherfucker. Yeah, dude, it yeah, was yeah. So they fucking hate funny. the Patriots. So funny. I was dying. But then they, they were saying, like, God damn, those Patriots are fucking good, though, man. It's yeah. like, fuck. They're like, they're, you can't do shit about it. They're so fucking good. But yeah. yeah, same thing. He's like, was, I started laughing. I'm like, Notre Dame and the Patriots, dude. Notre Dame and the Patriots and Duke are the fucking, <laughs> the honky fucking teams, dude. Honky squad, dude. The they have fucking, like fucking white wideouts. They do. Their whole offense is white, basically. They have a uh, black running back. Yeah. And a uh, black tight end. Actually, you know what? They have Michael Floyd now at wideout. He's, he's black. Okay. They have some black, but for an I mean, NFL. Dude, to have more than one is unheard yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, They have a couple white wideouts. They used to have a white running back. That was probably T. That was probably executive order from fucking Trump, dude. <laughs> dude, it's Stop. so funny that the best team in the league is a bunch of honkies. It's pretty funny. They have a fucking white linebacker named like Ninkovich. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking funny to watch them play. They just pulled him out of the rubble in fucking Russia <laughs> and brought him over here. Yeah, that's. It's everybody hates him, but I I I came around pretty hard. Is on he good? This. Who Ninkovich? Yeah. yeah, he's good. I mean the Patriots though. Oh yeah, yeah. Like just. It's so funny to watch a team of honkies. And then he's like, they were all complaining about the calls. They're like, fucking bullshit calls. <laughs> like, any anytime the ref threw a flag or didn't, they'd be like, fucking white motherfucker. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, they were they were just like, it was funny. The one guy's like, Tom Brady loving motherfucker. And it was just, or uh, yeah. whatever, Donald Trump loving motherfucker, dude. But yeah, they said they gave it up. They're like, man, the fucking <laughs> Patriots are good. Like, you can't beat them. I was having a conversation with this chick this black chick that was a comic when i was up in new york and she was talking about how like when she was watching i guess was it the golden globes is that where i guess yeah that fucking lady gave that meryl streep yeah 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 yeah, that was it well anyway she was like i liked it i I liked watching it a lot of people of color got a lot of awards and i was like yeah i never like i don't root for the home team 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm never oh, like, yeah. come on, white guys. Come win. on, Leo, we need but this. that's just because white guys always win that. Of course. And it's all white people. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, yeah, in sports, I'm always like, come on, white guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 100%. Like, in the NBA, I'm like, oh, there's a white guy fucking killing it. If a white the guy dunks in the, in the NBA, like... If I'm yeah. at a family party, my uncles are like standing on the couch, like, oh, we got one, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got one back. That, <laughs> <laughs> that is our Oscar, dude. Yeah. So you that's know, white, what I was a watching. Sick the, white dunk. Like, I realized I, I'm like cheering for the Patriots. Yeah. Not because they're white, but it is well, funny as fuck. Sports is the only thing where that's, that's final. That's still acceptable. In the NBA, in the NFL, there's a lot of white players. We had that fucking huh. debate. We well, had that debate. This is a good debate. That is a if good debate. If any of you guys like sports, this is a nice one. If there was a team. If they split the NFL up into a black team versus a white team, who would win? Now, the, the easy money says the black team would fucking crush them. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. It's tough. That it's, is tough it's surprisingly, one. the white team would be surprisingly decent. They wouldn't yeah. have, the wideouts on the black team would destroy the white corners. That's yeah. where the That's where the issue is. That's true. But other than that, it's a good game. Fuck, yeah, that would be, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. you forget it. that there's a lot of good white defensive, like there's good white linebackers, there's good, I mean, J.J. Watt's like the best defensive I mean, player. Yeah, O-line, D-line, it's like whatever. O-line, D-line's all right. Uh, linebackers are all right. Safeties are good for honkies. Those corners are going to get crushed. Those corners are getting lit. <laughs> They're getting fucking humiliated. <laughs> but then the one thing would be there's not a black quarterback, but then Cam Newton. They might have to, like, white chicks a couple corners, dude. Like the yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then it was like, if you're not full black or full white, you're out. So that kind of fucking... Yeah, That levels tough. the playing field a little bit. Yeah. Does it? Slightly. Okay. But what's... Wait, hold on. How would you do, like, what's full, though? What about if it's, like, West Indian and... You're out. You're on the oh, fucking... Oh, man. You're, <laughs> you're doing on like... the fucking West Indian <laughs> <Damn>. team. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's a whole different ball game. you got to be LeGarrette Blunt. This game sponsored by Ancestry.com. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's taking swabs before. Or I think the white team should get half. Should get the, get the mulattoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. A basketball game would be good, too. That would be fair, you know. Because that way the white team could get Steph Curry. Oh, man, that's just unfair. No, that's not unfair. The black team would be fucking unreal. Actually, yeah, that's totally fair. Yeah, the, no, that the basketball would I don't think would be even basketball. A, I don't think would be that close, dude. They did it like four years ago. It would oh, I thought you said they did this four years ago. I'm no, like, no, what if fucking they did channel it. did this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they did it like four. So we so the white people could have Dirk and Steve Nash. Yeah, who's fucking Duncan? We get Yao Ming. Tim Duncan's out. Tim no, I'm Duncan saying, could, we, who's, no, who's oh, dunking? Who's dunking? You don't need to dunk. Yeah, you do. Nah, dude. Razzle dazzle, baby. No. Nah. He's heating Look. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fucking white team would. Yeah, the white team would probably get smoked, but in basketball, yeah, 100%. in any sport except yeah. like fucking hockey, tennis, <laughs> baseball. <laughs> hockey would just be a power play because there's like three black black players in the league. <laughs> it would be a big power be seven on three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, baseball would probably be good. Baseball would be good. We'll That'd give them Dominicans. We'll give them. Yeah. I had a long argument with a friend of mine for a while that black guys, or if you're from the Dominican Republic, you're not black. That's fair. I was wrong about that. Okay, that's not I fair. kept saying they were Hispanic, technically. Yeah, there's a whole other like thing of racism down in South America that's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. dude, they don't like, um, where the hell was I? Oh, the Dominican Republic. The Dominicans hate Haitians, but they don't fuck with them because they're, they're scared of their voodoo. They're scared of their voodoo. I swear to God. Some guy explained it to me. Well, it's more like, you know, they're like... They're coming over for jobs. Yeah. So it's the same where, like, some people will be like, get these Mexicans out of here. It's like that, but time's like a zillion. Over. It's totally acceptable to be like, get these fucking Haitians out of here. But um, that's how it is in DR, baby. Fuck yeah. Dominican I was down Republic. There. I was down in Dominican. I hated it. It was great. I didn't like it. I mean, I was stuck in an all-inclusive resort. Where'd you go? I was at a really, really nice all-inclusive resort. I was in, like, a Jurassic Park of Canadians, dude. Just fucking stuck. <laughs> They got out. They were just, just the a bunch Canadians of fucking... broke out. <laughs> you saw the fucking ripple in your they pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> I had a slippery nipple when I saw a quiver. <laughs> they had the Canadians locked away and they got out and told me all their sad stories. I was like, ah, wow. <laughs> they smell you oh, having man. fun. <laughs> oh, well, I know man. a good story he should hear about my dead dad. I was actually listening to this. Uh, so I was in the car with a good friend of mine, Jamal. Shout out Jamal Smith. 
What up? And uh, I played for him the the prank calls of the dinosaur <laughs> dinosaur bones, and then the guy strangling his dog. And then I was like, as soon as that ended. <laughs> And Wild West came on. I had to fucking switch it. I was like, who knows what type of racist bullshit is coming up next. I was like, it's going to be me saying blacks and dogs don't get along. Or like, black people are afraid of magic. <laughs> I feel like you would laugh, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still, that's, it's awkward when it's just yeah. you and Jamal in a car. Yeah, tell me about it, man. And Brittany, he, Brittany yeah. was always like, I don't want to listen to your podcast just because, like, you know, I don't know. It, not even, like, what you're saying. She's like... I just think prank calls are weird, so I shouldn't listen to it. And I was like, yeah, don't let the prank calls are really weird. Don't listen to it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, Yo, but who else is going to fucking take down the reign of terror between Obama and Canada? No one. And the fucking flat-butted Lena uh, Dunham. Lena Dunham butts? They're coming for you. They're wiggling right now. They're, on their, they're on their little bicycles right now fucking There's pedaling fucking around. Pancake butts. There's fucking... What are those bikes called? Fixed gear bike motors, dude. Yeah, they, whatever. They are only powered by flat butts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's yeah, a cast. Fuck out of here. That's a good cast. Come to Digital Graffiti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to that tomorrow. And if you mention our podcast at the door, you get in for free. Yep. So. Hell yeah. If you say, I'm a fan of the Secret Podcast, you're in for free. Fuck yeah. That's sick. I got to run that by the club. See if they'll let me do that. But Just do it anyway, They're definitely going to do it. It'll help our, our fucking yeah, analytics. Yeah. Also... Fucking give us a good review on iTunes, you yep. dorks. And share it, you know? Don't be share scared. it around. Come on, yeah, man. You might get fired from your job, but uh, share it around. Play to it at like, work. Get fired. T- text this to people. Don't share it on your Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good cast, dude. Hell yeah. See you guys. Praise the Lord, I was born to travel. Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I'm lean back with the less pull. Shit I smoke is like cholesterol. Still dressing on the vest at the festival, the best of all. Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call. Best believe that there was naked fall.